Hey everyone, welcome back for another video. My name is Tanya, for those of you that are new here, and I'm a watercolor and acrylic artist. So I've only shown you watercolor tutorials on this channel, but today I thought I would show you an acrylic tutorial. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so to get started, I've got my four inch by four inch canvas here, and I use the canvases that are a little bit thicker. This one here is about an inch and a half thick. I just uh, prefer that. If you don't wanna hang it on a wall, you can always set it um, on a table or a counter or whatever. They just look really cute, especially the little canvases. Um, I've got my acrylic paints here. I'm using the Artist Loft brand. This is just a student grade paint. It is not a very good paint, um, but it is budget friendly if you're on a budget. I just picked this up at, I think these were Michael's. Um, so just for the amount of money um, that you spend on these, the paint is, is just fine. Uh, but if you do want a better grade paint, I would recommend the golden paint. It's just a little bit thicker and creamier and brighter. Um, but again, if you're working on a budget, this brand Artist Loft is just fine. And then I went ahead and I picked up some filbert brushes. I picked up a 10 and a half inch. Um, the filbert brushes are really nice because they've got this little curve here. And if you're doing like hilly mountains or whatever, um, it's just really nice to get curves with these, as well as florals. If you're doing with florals, these make really nice uh, petals as well. And then I've got my water, my paper towel, and I've got a palette here, a very messy palette. Um, I just keep layering and layering and layering because as it dries, you could just keep layering it. Um, when it gets to a point where you don't want to use it like this anymore, um, you can actually just pick it off with your nail and it just kind of like comes right off. Um, so you don't have to sit there and wash it. You could just pick it right off once it dries. That's the beauty of acrylic. Okay, so to get started, we're just going to start with some hills, and I'm just taking a pencil, and I'm going to just start penciling in where I want some hills. You can make as many or as little as you want. All right, so I did four hills, and then the sky area. All right, so one thing I didn't tell you um, that I did before this video was I put gesso on uh, the canvas. It's a great idea to put gesso on your canvases first. It primes them because um, your canvas has all these little peaks and valleys and it kind of smooths it out a little bit. Once the gesso dries, you can lightly sand it and add another layer if you want or you could just add one layer. It doesn't matter. Do as many layers as you want and then just lightly sand it and it gives um, the canvas just a little bit more of a smooth edge. All right, so I'm going to start out with, um, I think I'm going to make my first hill blue. Uh, so I picked up, I already put some little drops of uh, blues and greens on my palette here. So I'm going to start with this one. Now I like when there is um, a little bit of white added to the color. So I'm going to put a little bit of white in there also. I did not wash off my brush. I just picked up white right away on my blue brush. I like when the colors actually mix together on the, the canvas. If you don't like that look of them mixing together on the canvas, go ahead and mix it on your palette first and you can get a nice, um, a nice, just nice creamy color. Uh, but I like to see all the different colors I'm using on my, my canvas here. So you see some of the dark blues, you see some of the whites in there. I just like to be really streaky about it. I feel like it's just a, a better look um, just a little bit more interesting. But if you don't like that look, you don't have to do that. Now, another thing is with these um, thicker canvases, even with the thinner canvases, if you're not gonna be painting the sides black or whatever, and you wanna wrap your image, go ahead, wherever the blue is here, or green or yellow or whatever colors you do, always wrap it on either side of your canvas. And then don't forget the bottom too. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make my canvas black on the sides. So I'm not gonna sit here and wrap my canvas completely. I just want the image on the front of my canvas. But if you want the image on the sides, go ahead and add your paint to the sides. All right, I'm gonna wash off my brush and I'm gonna go on to the next hill. And I think I'm gonna do a violet next. I'll put a little violet on my palette. And again, make sure you have enough paint on your brush or you're gonna see all those little peaks and valleys of the canvas. And you don't want that. You want it to be a nice, clean, smooth look. Otherwise, it'll look really grainy. Sometimes the faster you go, I'll show you on the next hill what I'm talking about, but sometimes the faster you go and if you definitely don't have enough paint on your brush, you will see all those peaks and valleys of the canvas and you just wanna cover that up. 
All right, so carefully go over your edge here. Try and smooth out your paint as much as you can. Again, wrap your sides if that's the look you're going for. All right, I'm gonna add a little tiny black to my brush and I'm gonna bring in a little bit of black down here where the two hills meet. I want there to be a shadow. I'm gonna smooth that out. Okay. Pretty. I'm gonna wash off my brush and I'm gonna add a little bit more of that violet color to it mostly here on top. Now, if you see that it's just not going on very easily because your first layer is still not dry, don't worry, just let your first layer dry and then try to add another layer again. All right, let's move on to the third one. So I'm gonna show you when I don't have enough um, paint on my brush and I go fast. See that? See all those peaks and valleys you're getting right here from the canvas? That just means you're going too fast and or you don't have enough paint on your brush. Just go slow, crispen it up, and make sure you have enough paint on there. I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the top of the hill here. I'm gonna add a little white and blend that down. All right, I think I'm gonna add a little more white just to the top, because so I had blend that in just a little too well that you didn't see the white. And of course, we're always gonna add more layers to this in a minute. Okay. And for that next layer, I think I'm gonna do a darker purple. It's a little bit different than that first purple I used. All right, now for the sky, I think I want a limey sky. So I'm gonna use this lemon yellow and I'm gonna use like a, this is called light green. And I'm gonna mix the two right on my palette. And you're gonna get this like limey green. I'm gonna bring a little white in there too because that's just too bright for me. So I have all the colors on my brush right now, all three colors. And I love the look of when you don't blend it in too much and you've got the yellow, the green, the white, and it's all just showing through. I like that. And if you don't like that, go ahead and just keep um, brushing on the color and it will eventually just mix together. But I think that looks really, really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this and we're gonna start adding another layer. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same exact colors, but I'm just gonna add another layer of them. So I ran out of my ultramarine blue, so I'm grabbing a little bit more. All right. And I want it to be a little bit darker down here and I'm actually gonna pick up a little black with that too. I really wanna deepen up that color down here, down towards the uh, foreground of the painting. I want it to be just darker. So just keep blending that in. And lighten it up using a little bit of white. Now if it's too much white, like I think it is, add a little more blue to it. Okay, then you can do the same thing for the next one. I'm gonna add a little white to the top of that hill. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of darker purple towards the bottom again. Blend it up. All right, 
And then I'm gonna do the same thing to that turquoise. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of my turquoise. So I'm gonna add another layer. And then I'm gonna take some white. I'm gonna go over the top of that hill again. And then I'm gonna take that other purple. I'm just gonna go over that again and I'm gonna use a little bit of white on top of this hill too. bit of black down here again. And a little more white up at the top here. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna add a little more white down at this one too. Now, since the paint dried on this one already, I'm gonna pick up a little of that violet and I'm gonna start blending it in. Probably going to add a little bit more white to this hill and this hill. Okay, so I'm going to move to my size 10, which is a little bit smaller, so I can get a, kind of get in there and just maybe do some like little details on these hills. So if you're more comfortable using the smaller brush, definitely go to the smaller brush. And you're going to just keep blending and feathering it in. Okay, so I want light down to dark. Now that top hill, I think I got to work on a little bit. I'm going to bring in some of that purple again. It got a little bit, I added that black and it got a little too gray. I'm gonna put a little more white up in the sky, tone it down just a little bit. And if you wanna go ahead and add a little bit of blue up here too, you can. I think I'm gonna add a little turquoise. That green wasn't cutting it for me. So see what I mean? You could just kind of go over Kind of go over what you have already. If you're if it's not agreeing with you, just go over it again. That's the beauty of acrylic. So sometimes I use acrylic and sometimes I use watercolor. It just depends on what mood I'm in. But I love them both just the same. All right, that is really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dry this and then we're gonna start popping in some trees and bushes. Okay, so I'm going to take what is called Hooker's Green and white, and I'm gonna start making some uh, bushes here and there. So I'm gonna take my filbert, my half inch, I believe this is, yes, this is the half inch one. And I'm just gonna be putting, I'm double loading my brush. I'm putting a little green and a little white on my brush together. And 
I'm gonna just put in like a bush coming out, let's say right here, or it could even be a tree. Doesn't even matter. Want a little more green than white though. So put a little more green in there. I didn't wash off my brush. I just loaded more green onto it. Okay, maybe a little more dark green over here. And then you could always just let it dry and see if you like it. All right, I think I'm gonna add a little bush down here. No, let's add one up here. So it look like maybe two trees are in the in the on the side of the picture here. And I love adding white because it just pops it off the canvas a little bit. If your canvas, if your paint colors are really dark, add a little white to some colors that you want to pop off, and vice versa. If your canvas is really light, add some dark areas, some nice shadowed areas. I love contrast. I always play with my lights and my darks um, with watercolor and acrylic. There. So for right now, that's fine. Let's add just a little bit more white. Pop it off here a little bit. Okay. And then I think I'm going to pop off a little white on this one. Just like that. And then I think I just want maybe, let's do a small one, like right in here. Actually, I'm gonna do a medium sized one, right coming out from right here. And this one's gonna be a little bit darker because it's the foreground. And actually that turned out larger than I wanted. That's okay. So see, these filbert brushes are so great when you're doing um, hills, bushes, trees, flowers, whatever. It's got that nice rounded edge. All right, I'm gonna wash off my brush. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that dark green down here, just to darken up the foreground a little bit. I'm gonna take my number one brush and I'm going to um, dip it in my black. And I think I want a black tree coming out this way from my canvas. So I'm just gonna start with the trunk of the tree. And then as your tree comes up, you want it to be uh, thinner and thinner. So the trunk of the tree is gonna be a little bit thicker. And then as it comes up onto the branches, it's gonna thin out a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dab on some little tiny um, leaves. So I just took some black paint and I'm just dabbing on little tiny dots for where you want the leaves. And then just add as many as you want. I'm going to do more just like the tops of the branches. All right, we can always add more branches later, but for right now, that's fine. And I'm going to do a white tree on the other side. So I'm going to do the same thing, but with white paint. And I'm going to have the tree, let's say, come out from down here. So I'm going to make the trunk first, and then I'm going to branch off and do little tiny branches here and there. And I want the two trees to meet in the middle. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do little tiny leaves.
All right, and I think I'm gonna do some little trees in the background as well. Maybe I'll put like one here. Now I might not be showing you all the steps to this because my landscape, landscapes do take me a while, uh, but I will show you the finished product at the end of this. But I just kind of wanted to show you a little bit of my process of how I do my landscapes in acrylic. And you can fill that in with as many leaves as you want. I want, I think, just more at the top here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and thicken that up a little bit down at the trunk. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit of black leaves on my white and white leaves on my black, just to give it a little bit that it kind of flows a little bit better together. I think I'm gonna do a little bit more detail on my bushes. I might add in a couple little more bu uh, bushes or trees in the background, but pretty much that's really what I wanted to show you with my acrylic. But I will go ahead and finish this painting and I'll show you at the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you liked it and learned a little something. And if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and you can make a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this one. Have a great day. Bye.